My name is Trent Edwards and I'm the quarterback for the Buffalo Bills. Just to be, have my name called, it, it's honestly a dream. It, it's not something I'd ever um, thought would ever happen and come draft day for the NFL. They recognize the way you play and the person you are and your work ethic and they want you on their team. It's, it's, a, pretty, it's a pretty nice feeling to have. When I first arrived here at Buffalo and coming up to the stadium and meeting all the guys on the team, it's, uh, it definitely is a very nervous feeling. I think the first night I had uh, before uh, the, first, the first practice, I probably slept no more than 45 minutes, I guess. I was tossing and turning and wanted to get on that bus and get over there and start working here. This is my uh, both former and current teammate from the Buffalo Bills, Trevor Hooper. He's uh, Mountain View's finest product. Having a former teammate in Buffalo with me right now has been a huge help. Just um, having a familiar face to talk to, to reminisce about times at Stanford, going through the same thing you're going through is just something that has been really helpful for me. Um, it's not like college or high school anymore. There's guys on the team that are married and have kids, and um, it's, it's a little bit more individually based. The difference between my first day in college and my first day in the pros was that it was me on a red-eye flight out to Buffalo by myself with just my golf clubs and my football cleats and some clothes on my back. So it's um, a much, much different feeling when you go your first day in the professional life than it is at college. It's, uh, I guess, a lot more responsibility on your shoulders. When I was first handed my playbook, I thought, how fast can I learn this? How fast can I uh, use this out there on the field and then mentally pick it up. Even when I go home at night before I go to bed or eat dinner, it's um, looking at the playbook, testing myself on what I would do in certain plays and situations. So this is my, my job and that's the only way to continue to um, be in the position I'm in is, is to be able to learn this, this offense. When I put my helmet on, I feel proud to be able to wear the Buffalo Bills logo on the side of my helmet. I'm in a position right now in my life that a lot of people look up to and a lot of people would, would like to be in the position I'm in, so I don't take any day I have putting on this helmet for granted. It's uh, a privilege to play in this league and a privilege to be a Buffalo Bill. The flow of the linebackers, the speed of the defensive ends, the, the feet of the DBs and the way they're moving is something that I'll never, never saw at Stanford. Even the fastest teams I face in my college career don't even compare to the guys we have out here in Buffalo. The JP being a California guy has uh, helped me out a lot so far. He obviously knows the area I come from and I know the area he comes from and um, I think our personalities really mesh very well. So it's a guy that I'm trying to ask questions when he comes off the field. Um, even though he's from Southern California, Northern California is a little bit better than Southern California. He's still a guy that I can turn to and help, uh, can help me out. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, you do need a while. You need a roll tape? Go down to the training room right there. On the left. You do for me, bro. Hey, come on. This is Brett Pierce. He's a former Stanford tight end. There's part of me that does wish I could go back and play another couple seasons at Stanford. The thing I'm going to miss most is just the relationships I have with all the people out there. Now they're about 2,000 miles away. They're a three-hour time zone difference away, but this is a new chapter of my life that I'm uh, more than excited to, to be facing right now.